from the outdoor that has appeared in Hardbart, Business Week, TechCrunch, Venture Beat, and Giga Om. It's Larry Chiang. You're a VC right now. You don't even know it. What I mean by that is that engineers are the new VCs. Engineers are the ones who create so much value. And you're going to couple the creation of value by adding in code, by adding in sales, which is what you've been doing right now. This is lecture 19 now. So in the previous 18 sessions, you've built up and rebuilt up. So you're actually an accidental VC where the LP, the limited partner, is the person holding the paper that stock that is literally worthless stock. So you're raising the value of that worthless stock and resuscitating it. So you're, in essence, being a VC by doing this engineering work, by doing this editing work. How's that cadaver that you're working on doing? Is your cadaver awesome? Is your cadaver now have a heartbeat and maybe new life? So bringing something back from the dead like Easter, like JC Rising, is something that's magical. And if you are in process of doing that, two publications want to know about it, TechCrunch and the Wall Street Journal. And I want to know about it. In fact, when I know about your results, I will help you get into those two publications or more because the resuscitation of something that's dead is actually newsworthy. So what you're doing is you're doing something new, newsworthy and noteworthy. So let me know how you're doing. So the old way of what VCs do is that VCs typically get newly minted and they go actively work on something that is a startup and they will actively not practice on something that's dead or edit. They'll try to edit something that's barely up and going often to ruinous results, often to stupendously horrible results as documented in the New York Times, as documented in everywhere where the first rule of venture capital is to try to do no harm, which new BVCs not so good at abiding by rule number one. Kleiner Perkins, Caulfield Bowes, KPCB, whatever, uh, KPCB. John Doerr is uh, a VC there. He's quoted as saying it takes $20 million to properly educate a VC. Let me repeat that. It takes $20 million to properly educate a VC, KPCB. That's because somebody's getting ruined in the 20. So if you're investing one to two mil, that's 10 companies that just get ruined by a VC. Not good. I think I've harked enough on the fact that the old way was a VC or the old way was doing uh, a, your first crack at a raw thing where you're literally trying to start up your startup. I mean, it'd be like a doctor practicing the first time on your great grandma who's now under the knife, who's getting anesthesiologized by a person who's never gassed anybody before. Initially, you work on cadavers. Uh, medicine's like that. Hollywood's like that. In fact, I've got some great Hollywood examples that are incredibly insightful. So that way, you can get as much credit as possible for the previous 18 lectures of work that you've already done. Good stuff. Grab a pen because you want to lock in all the awesome things that you've done up till now via hashtags, via protocols. Think of this as like a GitHub Stack Overflow, but on pen and paper. Number one is uh, CS183YC, little y, big C, as in Y Combinator. So there is going to, that's a hashtag, write that down. I'm going to rifle through these hashtags. R2D2, hashtag R2D2. VC, hashtag R2D2, VC. R2D2 like the robot, VC like venture capital. Lock this into CS183A arbitrage. You've been able to now arbitrage in lectures uh, one through 18. Prequel lecture three and the other ones that I've listed onto that right, that, that tweet right there. Absolutely all upside for when you are selling and promoting something as a CS major, something that has been absolutely left for dead. 
it's all, literally all upside. And that's what the, the practice of doing entrepreneurship is. It's, we're not focusing just on any ideas. If you've been focusing just on the execution, the idea maybe was even given to you or maybe we earlier uh, collaborated on something that was not even an idea that you or I hatched, but that we are simply DJing. So that's why it's all upside. And and I'm not joking about the TechCrunch Wall Street Journal uh, placements because you should be getting credit for it. In the CS world, you get it on Stack Overflow GitHub. In the real world, it's in the Wall Street Journal. In Hollywood, some of the best directors come out of editing. They don't just hand you a Hollywood tentpole franchise and say, hey, here's our baby. We Our studio needs to make literally a billion dollars with this to cover the 30 dogs that are gonna not get our ROI or return on investment back. They don't just hand you that kind of sequel. They expect you to do great work leading up to it in through editing. And there's a great example, which I will go over next with a story about how a person who used to edit and now is going to be an alpha director. Politics of plate lunch. Better luck tomorrow. Have you heard of any of these titles? You probably haven't, but Better Luck Tomorrow was critically acclaimed. Uh, came out in 2002. Justin Lin was the editor of that film. The reason that name Justin Lin is important is because J.J. Abrams, alpha director of Hollywood, actually bequeathed and transferred directing a major summer franchise tentpole sequel entity to Justin Lin to direct. So J.J. Abrams is handing off the baton to Justin Lin to direct Star Trek X, whatever that X is. So it's it's the, the path to directing. It's all coming up through editing. So we're taking stuff from the trash heap and making it absolutely shine. And this very much is the result of spinning out hashtag CS183E for edit out of CS183S for sales, CS183S, which also spun out of CS183C Lecture 3, which is pre-mortems, pre-mortems, where are we able to edit somebody else's uh, junk and make it shine? Are we able to polish up the turd from the Andrew Mason lecture? I think it's uh, Lecture 3 and Lecture 1, polishing up our turds, getting super rich end uh, with a hilarious video which is 50 shades of frozen 50 shades of frozen it's 50 shades of gray piece of junk movie right nobody really liked it it was horrendous and frozen frozen's good but it's a children's film and they combined it to be 50 shades of frozen and the editor is a no name but will be a rising star because they clipped together this trailer it's fully legal and that trailer is awesome. I've posted it on down below because it's so funny. And editing is fun, it's funny, and it's all upside. Good job so far. And then lecture 20 is amazing too because you're being able to retire on the job doing something really easy and profitable. How hilarious is that? Isn't that awesome where that's completely edited from something that exists? That's what CS183E is meant to do and that's lecture 19 in a nutshell. Taking somebody else's thing and making it awesome. <laughs>